Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the count values within cases feature in SPSS. So I have here a fictitious data set that has four variables. Three are independent variables and one is a dependent variable. The first independent variable has three levels and it's duration of treatment and there's six, 12, and 18 weeks of the three levels. The next is emphasis. This is what the counselor will emphasize with the participant in the treatment and you have substance use depression and trauma so there's three levels there and then gender and we have male or female so there's two levels to that independent variable for dependent variables of course we just have the one it's symptom level and we'll say it's a general measure of mental health distress with a lower score indicating fewer symptoms so if we want to count values within cases here We'll go to transform and select the count values within cases menu selection. Before I do that, I want to show you the numeric values behind the string values for the independent variables. So that you can see the A1 button here. If you click on that, you can see the numeric values. So the six week, that's a zero. And emphasis, the substance use is zero. And the depression is one and the trauma is two and then for gender of course we have zero for male and one for female and also in duration kind of below what was visible for emphasis 12 week is one and 18 week is two so keep keep those in mind because you'll have to use the numeric codes uh, in the count values within cases feature. So let me set my target and or target variable and target label. And let's uh, count the first variable we'll count is gender. And we're going to define the values. Now remember we just have a zero and a one. So let's say we want to count the number of males. We'll specify the value zero and add that. So this is fairly straightforward because you only have the zero, the one. So you, you execute that code and you can see that where you have a male participant, there's a one that's returned and female, uh, there's a zero. So that's, that's how the count feature uh, creates the variable. That's what it looks like. So let's say we wanna make it a little more complex. Go to transform, we'll reset this and I'll call this uh, T1 and T1 and let's look at the symptom level. Right. Now we know this ranges from roughly 30 uh, into the high 60s so we have a few choices here we could specify one value and count that we could uh, specify system missing or system or user missing, uh, but also a range where we specify a low high value or a range that starts with the lowest through a value or the value through a highest. So let's uh, use the lowest through a value. So whatever the lowest is will be included through the value that we specify. And let's say that's uh, 50. So this is the lowest value all the way through 50. We can add that. And you can have multiple values to count. So let's also add another one. Let's, let's say a higher value, let's say 65 through the highest. Right, so we'll add that one as well. So the values that will be counted will be the lowest through 50 and then 65 through the highest. Hit continue, then OK. I called this one T1. So you can see where a symptom level meets the criteria we set forth, you have the one and where it doesn't, you have zero. So to demonstrate the range feature, again I'll count values, let's call this T2. So with the other example I covered both the lowest through value and value through highest. But for this one, we'll continue with the symptom level, but I'll show you the range feature. So I'm just going to 
go in here and remove these values to count and go to range. So say we just want 40 through 60. So put in 40 through 60. We'll add that. Continue and then click OK. And you can see where the value is between 40 and 60. You have the 1 and in the case where it was not you have the 0. Another great ability of the count values within cases feature is the ability to add an if statement. So I'm going to call this new variable t3 t3 and the variable we'll be testing of course will be symptom level and I'm going to define the same range I had before so that's 40 through 60 and add that but this time I'm going to add an if statement because I only want to include female participants so the default is include all cases of course but now we want to include if case satisfies condition and we specify the condition here in this case I want to make it gender uh, equals 1 that's the numeric value for a female participant in this data set so you can see now we have here the symptom level still defined 40 through 60 but down here it, the dialogue indicates the if condition we put in so if gender equals 1 so now when we click OK, of course this will create a new variable, T3, you can see it's not even evaluated for when the gender equals zero, the numeric uh, value for the, a male in this data set. So it's not even evaluated. Right? There, there's nothing there. And then for female, it is evaluated according to the criteria we set. So uh, you know it's counted only if it's 40 through 60 and this one's 38 so it's not counted this one's 43 so it is equal to 1 and you can see that what it did for the entire data set with 90 participants I hope you found this video on using the count values within cases feature in SPSS to be helpful as always if you have any questions or concerns feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you